let's look at a couple examples of how um, laws of charges and charge redistribution could be asked on an exam or a diploma exam. Our first example, we have a negatively charged sphere X is brought near but does not touch a grounded sphere Y. The ground connection to sphere Y is removed, then sphere X is moved away. If the sphere Y is then touched to an identical but uncharged sphere Z, the nature of the charge on sphere Y and the nature of the charge on sphere Z are respectively. This is a question that's going to talk about uh, coming near, thinking about charge redistribution, touching an object, understanding what happens when charge re redistribution, grounding, etc. This is a very common type of diploma question and some practice questions you'll get throughout the uh, unit. This is one thing that the workbook really lacks uh, in terms of types of questioning for you. Uh, to get you to a 30 level standard so you're going to see some supplement questions given to me or given from me either in the extra practice exercises or in terms of a review assignment it's very important that you do these you'll see these kind of questions on your exams and you'll see lots of these on your diploma exams so let's kind of draw out a little scenario of how you can figure this out what we're going to do is start with sphere X and right now it's negatively charged it's brought near but does not touch sphere Y now sphere Y is grounded so I'll draw a little ground to this and we have to think of what's going to happen just for that first sentence what should happen when you're brought near to an object when you look at the induction case that's what happens when you're bringing near this is a charging by induction if you attach something to a ground it allows electrons to either enter or leave and remember protons are not allowed to enter protons are fixed it's what defines the substance it's the electrons that are allowed to move freely after watching those videos hopefully that kind of hammers home the point so if you bring a negative charge near to it what will happen is through the process of that likes repel this should drive electrons out of sphere Y so what will happen is is if it drives those electrons out when you remove the ground in the second scenario we should be looking at Y being left as positively charged it didn't acquire positives what happened is the electrons left leaving it positive charged sphere X is moved away now if we take sphere Y and touch it to an identical sphere Z and it's neutral what will happen then is you will then get some of the electron charge to try to neutralize this so electrons will leave Z and go to Y to try to redistribute now one thing you need to remember is that if Z was originally neutral and Y was positive the net charge at that point is positive right Y is positive Z is neutral so if you were to think of the total amount of charge the total charge or the net charge should be positive now when you pull these apart you look at Y and you look at Z and they should have the same charge to them and what it would be is it would have half the amount of charge on each one you take that whole net charge whatever it was if it was 30 plus then 15 electrons would come over and you'd be still plus 15 on both so whatever the charge was it'll be half as positive but it'll still be positive and the other will be half as positive 
to give still give you a net charge of positive whatever that number would be. So the charge redistribution on contact will then cause the electrons to try to distribute evenly over the two identically uh, identical spheres and then what will happen is you'll have both of them left with just less positive charge than the individual charge Y. So remember it's electrons that move when you contact things will redistribute to balance evenly and then when you separate they will have the same amount of total net charge. So in this case the nature on Y and Z should both be positive. Not as much positive as just Y itself in the second scenario, but a little bit positively charged on Y, a little bit positively charged on Z to give us a total charge of what we had on Y originally. Keep remembering this, conservation of charge. It's one of those physics principles on your data sheet. Total charge does not get created or destroyed. It just redistributes. So I didn't lose any charge, I've redistributed over my objects.